Hi, this is Steve Wagner, your instructor for Management 7500, Organizational Behavior in a Global Context. I wanted to take this opportunity to do a brief tour of the course shell and get you a little bit more familiar with how things are laid out uh, in this online class. You'll see that when you open up the shell, it opens to the announcements page. I will make announcements frequently, and so please review uh, new announcements uh, as you when you first enter the shell. On the left hand side you'll see the main menu. It starts out with general course information. We can go to the area where it says instructor and here this is just a quick way to get my email or my office phone number, my office location, my office hours. I've also given you a link to my LinkedIn profile and I have given you my cell phone number here. Please do not call my cell before 9 a.m. or after 9 p.m. There uh, is also a link to the syllabus and the schedule for the course. And, uh, these are both very important documents and so you can download these here and it's very important that uh, you read the syllabus carefully and I suggest that you print out a copy of the schedule. It gives you step by step what you need to do in each module and so it, it, there's many deadlines and it's important to keep track of them with the schedule. I also have an area for orientation where I give you some tips for success and some information on the technology and links to uh, other Blackboard tutorials so you can get to that through the orientation. Now one of the main areas you're going to use is under course activities and so if we go to course modules if you click on that you will see that module one is available to you now I only release one module at a time and I expect you to work at the same time with all other students I am, do not design this class so you can work ahead so if we click on uh, module one you will see that it comes up uh, it has uh, basically a, a table of contents and it has each thing that you're to do throughout the module. It always starts with an overview that gives you the learning objectives and then it has a series of, of different things that I'm asking you to do. So as you click on these, it gives you links to different parts of the Blackboard shell. This will give you links to the syllabus and schedule. This would give you links to the course overview. Here, this goes to a discussion board where you can introduce yourself. I do uh, provide you PowerPoints for the readings. I want to emphasize that looking at the PowerPoint slides does not substitute for actually reading the textbook. I provide the PowerPoint slides so you can take notes as you read and you can review your reading but don't think that just looking at PowerPoint slides is adequate in terms of reading the textbook. In every module I will provide uh, videos and so you can see here this gives you a connection to a video on evidence-based management. Hi, I'm Steve Wagner and this is a brief lecture on evidence-based management. I'll start out talking about... Um, there are also assignments on in each module. You can see that you can go to the assignments through the module. Again, here's uh, an open book quiz that you can complete uh, when you have read the chapter and looked at the videos. Again, if it doesn't open automatically, you can click there in the blue and it gives you instructions and you can do that, that quiz there. Uh, there's also links to the case study discussion and the experiencing OB assignments. All of the assignments are linked from the module. So the purpose of the module is to give you kind of a one-stop shop for going through all the requirements that you have to complete each module. Uh, there are other ways to get to assignments. So if you click on the assignments tab, um, you can also get to assignments uh, uh, through these tabs and so you could uh, click on the assignments tab and find the open book quiz 
for module one through that tab also. Uh, there are grades and you're probably familiar with how to look at those. Um, under the communications tab there is uh, an email area and this does connect to your governor state email. You do have to use your governor state email when you are taking this class. There is group work areas, okay, and again, then you can get to these through the module, but uh, you can also just click on group work area and get to it through that. Now, in here, I'm part of all of the groups, but you should see group for your best practices group project and also a group for your case study discussion. Also, if you scroll down underneath the main menu, you'll see uh, a title that says My Groups. Again, I'm in all of the groups, but you should have two groups listed, one for the best practices group, one for the case study discussion group. And you can connect to these through uh, these links also. There is a discussion board that is just really mainly for uh, questions that you have. So if you have questions that you think everybody could benefit from, then I suggest that you use the discussion board. Uh, you can click on course questions here. Now a nice thing that you can do in your discussion boards is you can subscribe to the discussion board. So here we've got a, um, a button you can press called subscribe. Okay, now that that is pressed, whenever someone posts a question on this discussion board or posts anything on this discussion board, a notification will be sent to my email. And so it's kind of nice uh, when you're in this discussion board or when you're in your case study discussion boards to subscribe to those and you can see and be notified when there is activity related to your group. We'll be using Blackboard Collaborate Okay, and I have that under the real-time communication link. Uh, I do have instructions for how to use Blackboard Collaborate if you're not familiar with it. I've also given you access to uh, download Blackboard IM. So if in your groups you want to use instant messaging, you can do that. Uh, the Blackboard IM isn't required for the class. It's just an option you can use. However, Blackboard Collaborate is required. You will be using these in your best practices groups. You'll see that I have set up Blackboard Collaborate rooms for each of the best practices groups. This is an area where your group can meet and talk with each other through video teleconferencing. You will be meeting me with me in these uh, virtual spaces through video teleconferencing to give me updates on your project. And also you'll be delivering your final presentation through Blackboard Collaborate. So it's important that you get into this real-time communication link and, and use Blackboard Collaborate in your best practices group project. Okay, there's also many resources here. We've got the, a link to Blackboard Help and the Governor State Library, the Governor State Writing Center, uh, the College of Business and Public Administration website, also student tech support. So please get in and explore and this shell and uh, get comfortable with it. If you do have any questions, uh, please post them on uh, the course questions discussion board or come to my office hours or give me a call or email me. There's many ways to contact me. So please, if you do have any questions along the way, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, thanks and uh, I hope to speak with you soon.